Russell Wilson, a Wisconsin guy. So is J.J. Watt. Grew up two hours south of Green Bay, idolizing Brett Favre, dreaming about playing in the NFL, and got to do exactly that today against the team he grew up watching, a joint practice for the Texans and Packers. One Watt needed two bikes to get to. He'll explain. It's a pretty special thing. It's pretty, it's pretty unique. It's pretty cool. I literally dream, dreamt about this as a kid. Um, so to be able to practice on these fields that I watched Brett Favre practice on, um, there's not, not going to be too many days like this in my career. So I'm very thankful and grateful that I got to have it. What was it like taking part in the, uh, the, the bike bicycle tradition? It was pretty awesome until I broke the bike. <laughs> uh, the, bike the bike that I was using was not equipped for a 290-pound man, and the seat broke off. Uh, we have purchased a new bike for the boy, so I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, the broken bike, not the last setback of the day for Watt, who actually ended up leaving practice uh, early with tightness in his groin. It was purely precautionary, according to Bill O'Brien, though Watt likely will not practice tomorrow or play in the preseason game on Thursday, which any uh, today's practice is any indication uh, that game could be interesting. It got a little chippy, as you see here. Mm. Rookie Texans mm -hmm. corner Lonnie Johnson hit Jay Sternberger hard enough to send his helmet flying, then he flexed on him. Packers didn't like that. Everybody met in the middle of the field. Our usual. Yeah. <laughs> It's just what happens when you get these joint practices. Every year we'd come in and, and you, you get excited at first about joint practices. I get to hit someone else. I, I get to beat up on another team. And after the first three periods, of the first half hour, 45 minutes, you're just like, okay, all we're doing here is fighting. <laughs> we're, we're accomplishing nothing football-wise. Let's move on and get to something else. Yeah, it wasn't just that. Uh, there were reports of Aaron Rodgers jawing at somebody on the defense, mm -hmm. and it looked like they weren't, like, just, you know, joking back and forth with each other. And uh, the defense, I'm, I'm sorry, the Packers' mm -hmm. offense was uh, reportedly pretty upset after practice. Now they got to go back and do it again tomorrow. You can't go through practice like it's just a regular day. I, I used to hate competitive practices because – it was like having three extra games during the week and then a game on Saturday because everyone is so juiced up. There's a bunch of competitors out here. You're yeah. going as hard as you possibly can, not to impress your own coaches, to impress the guys that you're playing against, to impress the opposing coaches. So it is the sneakiest way to get three extra games in during the preseason. I'll never forget, my rookie year 2008, the San Francisco 49ers came up to Napa Valley and all we did was fight for three days straight. <laughs> Michael Singletary came out and said, I am never bringing my team to play against these hooligans again. Hooligans. That was all he did was fight. It was, it was fun at the time. You, you start to have fun with it, and you're, you're out there with the teammates. You do find out which teammates are going to go to bat with you and go to war with you and fight with you because you're looking in the film room saying you didn't throw one punch. I don't know about you. <laughs> I've heard people say that, that there's something that you can get out of Absolutely. a preseason fight like this or a joint practice fight, I guess, in this particular case. I'm wondering how much, though, because you want to get out of these joint practices with some productive work, too, mm -hmm. and it holds back that. Yeah. Uh, we've heard Aaron Rodgers kind of say, like, you know, sort of depends on how the joint practices go uh, as to whether or not we'll see him in the preseason game, yeah. which would seem to indicate to me that maybe these can be even more productive than that game experience. Well, like I said, everyone's going full on. So this is Aaron Rodgers going against another defense. The defense isn't worried about, uh, you know, messing up Aaron Rodgers' pass or worried about making sure that the offensive coordinator for the team likes them. No, these guys are out here competing. Aaron Rodgers is going to get a very, very realistic look of what he's going to see in the game and how he can move in this, in this, within this new offense. I think those coaches had a talk, and I'm sure Aaron Rodgers was not live like everyone else on that field. <laughs> Don't hit him. Do not hit him. I mean, I think he's in a red jersey. And for a reason, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, well, that's an offense that we want to see a lot more of in the preseason, particularly in the regular season, those early weeks. How will that look with Rodgers and Lafleur? A lot of question marks there.